what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more diamond no a so today we're doing episode 23 and 24 so without no further ado we're gonna jump into these reactions last two episodes we're in the tournament we're ready to go i don't want to waste too much time here just know that i'm enjoying the show let's go watch subscribe if you're new like the video let's jump in let's go He's hitting his spots, though. Unfortunately, there has to be a loser. And... Oh my god. Try a pick off, maybe? Double play, let's go. Nice. Nice. <laughs> ベスト 
Alright, bro. If you say so. Unfortunately, as I said, there has to be losers. Good sportsmanship. I don't have any friends. That would be good. If he could actually control what he does. Oh, Lord.
Not a flawless three innings. As always. Dude, the captain is a problem, bro. The captain is a problem. Clockwork. Damn. He did that shit on purpose. Is that a strike? Uh, is the umpire gonna make a call today? Is it? Are those balls or strikes, sir? Oh, no, worse strikes. Okay. All right, we got a tough game coming up. Worst type of pitchers to go up against, bro. That pitches corners. God. So hard to predict. Got a strategy. <laughs> Why is he always complaining about it's hot, though? <sighs> I 
All he just said, and that's what she wants to write down. Right down the middle. Oh, 
200 pitches a day though that's that's a bit much for practice <laughs> be honest literally wearing your arm out I don't know if that's recommended he is young so 200 serious pitches a day I don't know if that's recommended at all but you guys can let me know <laughs> I mean, in my opinion, that's not good because um, you can see from like in like the major leagues, right? I know, yeah, you know I'm saying he's young, so a lot more stamina um, and stuff in in major league baseball. You have, especially with your starting pitchers, the rotation usually have anywhere from you know four, five starting pitchers, sometimes even six. So rotation is you're pitching like every four games. You know what I'm saying? Every four games, which could be, you know, every five days. You know what I'm saying? Could be every five days you're pitching. So give your arm rest. That's not to say they don't practice, you know, on those off days or, or whatever. That's not to say they don't practice, but they make sure that they give their arms rest 200 pitch every day for practice is insane <laughs> okay um is insane but i digress <laughs> anyway let's get to the review all right so we won another game and we're pushing forward we're pushing forward i don't think we've allowed any runs yet in the tournament so that's really good um i have a really good era going into you know going into the next game against this team which is probably going to be the toughest game we play so far it's going to be a challenge against this pitcher mowing down our batters but i'm um, hopefully that they figure something out against this dude um yang i think they will though i think they will figure out something um against him figure him out because the thing about it is that he's very precise with his pitches which is when a when a pitcher has that kind of control very hard to beat speed does not matter and if he has speed on top of that makes him untouchable so um when you have control control is one of the most important things when it comes on to pitching in baseball it's one of the most important things and it's the same thing in cricket um when you in, in cricket when you bowl the ball right when you're bowling the ball control and knowing where you're where the ball is going to to end up um is very important for you to know where you whatever you bowl or you're pitching it's important to know where you where the ball is going to end up before it leaves your before it leaves your hand or after it leaves your hand you know what i'm saying so control is the most important thing it doesn't matter how fast you can pitch or bowl in cricket i like to use cricket as an example because the games are um they're different but have similar traits i guess um you know but it just goes to show you that control is so much more important than speed it's speed is good but it's good as a addition if you have if you can have a good pace if you if you can throw balls at 90 miles per hour um you know what i'm saying 90 miles per hour or or about in the in the high 80s you can be a, a major league pitcher you get what i'm saying you don't have to be throwing in the high 90s you know sometimes over 100 to be an effective pitcher if you have great control and can throw off your batters and hit your spots and stay in that pitching zone and know how to throw off batters and know what you want high fast balls sliders outside of the zone you can be an effective pitcher so it's not necessarily about team think control is the most important thing um movement of your pitches is also important as well but i think control is the most important thing when it comes down to pitching if you can master control you can 
devour anybody, any batter. You know what I'm saying? No matter how many home runs they've hit and they're great at hitting or whatever, you can devour them if you have good control because you have, don't get me wrong, you have batters that, you know what I'm saying, it seems like they don't have any weakness. But every batter, every batter that steps to the plate has a weakness. They have a place that they don't like being pitched. You get what I'm saying? That they have a lower percentage. They have a lower batting average at that area. Every pitcher does. I mean, every batter does. So if you have great control and you can hit those spots where they're less likely or, you know, they have a spot, you know what I'm saying, where, you know what I'm saying, they don't have a high batting average at that spot, you know, they always hit grounders or they always hit fly outs or whatever the situation is it's best to be able to hit those spots and not throw it in their in their um, hot zones so control most important thing and that's the reason why they stress it so much in this anime because it's so important it, it doesn't matter how fast you throw you can throw your hardest all you want but if you don't have control if some you know what I'm saying if you're not controlling your pitches and they're just going high and they just happen to be swinging at him and missing eventually somebody's gonna come in there and be like all right your balls are high and they're out of the zone why am i swinging i'm not gonna swing but we all know how free is how his pitches are his pitches kind of go in the zone and then they rise up or out of the zone so it creates this problem for batters right but you are going to have more seasoned batters that are going to not swing at those balls so hopefully this whole heat thing doesn't bother him too much um i think what they um when it comes on to not being used to heat so like say for instance you grew up somewhere that's cold and you're not really used to you know the sun being so hot or something like that it's kind of like moving from you know say i'm not even going to go somewhere cold but like moving from like Florida in the United States to like say Vegas, it's way hotter in Vegas. You think it's hot in Florida, man? <laughs> Bro, I went to I went to Vegas in the summer one time, and that's out in the desert, man. It's just dry, hot. It, it's it's a pain. I don't know how people live in Vegas, man. I don't know how people because even in the city where all the festivities are with the hotels and everything and that's where i stayed i stayed at the mgm grand and it's like it's just hot and uh, i'm not talking about like inside a hotel i'm talking about when you go outside when you go outside you feel like you're eating dust that's how bad it is so it's just i can understand how furia furia is feeling because it's a different feeling you don't you feel like you can't breathe half the time and it, you feel exhausted you, you know your body just feels very droopy because i was wondering why he's he, he's sleeping more than he usually sleeps he's always complaining about how hot it is i was like that has to do with something but we'll see how it goes anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in that's all i have to say for these two episodes i'm jumping into the next two see you guys don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment i will catch you guys later man peace